We are here at the Moulton Borough Life Safety Building in advance of a Michelle Bachman campaign event where the Moulton Borough, the, the Lakes Region Tea Party, has decided to host an event for her. And I have come across Jeannie Forrester, New Hampshire State Senator. Hi. Jeannie, how are you today? Good, yeah. It's it's nice to see that the uh, weather here today on a fairly you know middle of October day is as bright as your smile. And <laughs> so 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 thanks for uh, spending a few minutes with me. Thanks. Um, certainly the election rhetoric is going to start heating up. We've seen that Nevada and Florida have moved up their primaries, which means that we could actually be voting in December. What's your response to that? Well, I would like to think that we won't. Uh be voting in December because having spent a lot of time uh, going back to my communities, I represent 31 communities, I'm hearing from the select boards that this could be a real issue for them in terms of funding uh, an early primary because they haven't budgeted for it. So I'm hoping that it doesn't happen in December. Well, I'm on the budget committee in Guilford, and yes, we have talked about this right up front because we budgeted for four elections. And folks, there are real costs to holding an election, and there's no money for it right now. That's right. That's right. And especially in this economy, uh, with uh, budgets uh, strapped so tight, we need to be um, conscious of that. Well, as you, you do a lot of traveling around, as opposed to your predecessor, you go to all of the towns all over your district, which is not a small physical area. What are you hearing? New transmission. <laughs> <laughs> what are you hearing from the voters that are out there about the current events, uh, the current state of the economy, the current state of the nation? You know, I've, I've uh, been in a lot of parades this summer. I've gone to a lot of old home days. I've, as you know, I've been back at the select, the select um, meeting with all my communities. And people are feeling the pinch, but I would say overall that everyone's, everyone knows we're in a, a tough economy and they're willing to tighten their um, belts. And we're not... I'm not getting a lot of negative feedback, so I, I appreciate that. They know we had to make some tough decisions, that we went into this uh, you know, budget facing a nearly $800 million deficit. And you're talking about the New Hampshire budget. The New Hampshire budget, yes, sorry about that. Uh, and so, you know, in every town, every person has had to do the same thing, and they appreciate that we've done that as well. Okay. So, what, what do you see as the national level type of... Uh, angst going out there in conjunction with the presidential primary and the, the election in 2012 that's coming up. What do you think the mood of your constituency is right now? Uh, I, think, I think it's it, at a national level it's the same as it is on a state level. People are worried about the economy, they're worried about jobs, they're hoping that our Congress is going to do the right thing and get us back on track. And, um, working hard to make that happen. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, I want to say thank you very much for taking a few minutes with Granite Rock. Thank you, Skip. So I know. Clock TV.